Hi, I'm Alison, Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator, and welcome to my second card. We, um, second Christmas card. First of all, I'm going to start with the um, Whisper White cardstock, and I'll fold that in half. I'll go this way because I've got a bit of a blemish there, and I can hide it with the piece I'm going to stick on the front. So, probably should need to wash my hands too, but it ink everywhere. And to the front, I'm going to attach a piece of uh, marina mist, mist, I think it is. And I've embossed this one already, not with a Stamping Up emboss because I don't have many tools for just starting up. But this one's called Venus. Okay, so I'm going to add that to the front, just with a bit of snow. Up. Yeah, I could ink the inches, but I wanted to leave this one nice and um, sort of defined. Now again I'm going to use a step from the Jolly Bingo Bit Set. I'm going to use this little gingerbread man here and I saw a really cool thing that somebody else did with the gingerbread man. I'm going to try it with this one too. So I'll get him out <clears throat> and get him onto my block. Let's find a bit of scrap. And I'm going to stamp him in chocolate chip which is Becoming one of my very favourite colours at the moment. And I need three of this stamp, so I'll just make sure I get him inked up really, really well. So there's one, two, and yep, and three. Okay, so I'll just pop that away for a second. So I'm going to cut each of these three out. So the cool thing that I did see with these little three was that um, someone had used a scallop punch and they'd taken the piece out of his leg and then out of his middle and they left one hole. So I'm going to do the same thing but given that I don't have a scallop punch we're going to do that with the scissors. So first one I'm going to take a bite out of his leg okay and the next one we're going to have him so that he's missing his middle. There we go. So I need to mount those now and I'm going to mount them onto, see how this looks. Yeah, maybe a piece of crumb, actually, no, white. I'll put them on white and I'll use my dimensional dots. Pretty much whenever we have gingerbread men at our house, this is the way they go to. <laughs> and very, very popular. Oops. I'll just cut down a dot thing because it's getting a bit small. And I'll put him on. So I'm just lining them up by sight. So I've got the three of them there. I'll just use my trimmer, I think. <clears throat> just to cut that here. Give myself a bit of space. There we go. Okay, do that. that at the top of the card but I'm going to put this onto some crumb cake just to layer it a little bit. always have trouble knowing which way up. <laughs> okay. You know what? I might even... No, I won't. <laughs> and then I'm just going to cut down that by side. I 
got a few friends who are a bit fussy with measuring everything, but you'll soon find me and measuring a very rare event. So, just a bit of ink, doesn't matter if it gets on the white, I'm not too worried about that. at the edges in chocolate chip. Okay. And that's going to go onto the front. Finish this off by cutting off a piece of crumb cake. Oops. I just neaten up the edge of this a bit off at the moment. There we go. That's better. Okay, no. Ink up the edges on this one. And I'm going to stamp a um, sentiment on the front of that. I'm going to use one, it's not a stamping up one again, but it says Happy Holidays, so you could use an equivalent one out of any of the Christmas sets. Lining it up there. There we go. And I'm just going to attach that down along the bottom. And there we have it. Card number two. <laughs> Thanks for watching.